Blessings, hello, welcome. I'm just making a quick video to explain essential oils. I get a lot of calls, especially with things that are going on. Uh, what's the point? Why should I have them? What do I do with them? And which ones are the best ones? Well, there are a lot of different varieties that you can choose from. I myself sell doTERRA and I use doTERRA. But I also use other essential oils, and I'll talk about them and why I use them. doTERRA is my favorite brand because they source their oils. You'll have a number on the bottom, as well as even an expiration date. But this number that you can put into on the doTERRA site, and it will take you back to where this particular oil came from the source that it grew, the country, the people, how they picked it, and it tells you about the product itself. <clears throat> so I like that as a feature that doTERRA offers, and it comes with all their bottles, not just the particular rosemary that I showed you. Um, essential oils, for me, are an herb in a garden, but there's more to essential oils than just an herb. Because as you see, we also have fruits, lemon and lime. And we also have resins, frankincense that are available. And we have flowers. Um, I thought I had the winter green out here. And plants like cedarwood. So there are a lot of different things that you can use essential oils for and with. So you have herbs, fruits, resins, flowers, woods. We even have some vegetables and stuff. <laughs> but for real, for real, essential oils are the basil example is pressed, cold pressed. The process for each one is again if you put that number in you'll be able to find out what they did to get this particular essential oil um but the pro healing properties and the benefits of it not necessarily i guess we should use the word healing but because it is of nature and everything that god gave was a gift used to help us not hurt us so i like to say yes it has the pop capabilities to heal Heal by the definition means to make things better. Doesn't mean that it takes things away. So medically speaking, because this is F not FDA approved for medical practices, you are not supposed to say it heals. However, this is a lemon. One drop is equivalent to a whole lime. I mean, a whole lemon. And the, the resin, I mean the skin as well. So you're not just getting the fruit and flesh of the lemon, but you're getting it from the rind. And that's where you actually need to receive these oils from, are from the seeds or the roots, not just the leaf or the plant that we eat. So eating a lemon is not equally the same as using a lemon essential oil. Um, if you took one drop of this essential oil, it's going to be in your mouth just as robust and woo, tart and tangy um, and sour like as if you had put the whole lemon in your mouth, not just a bite and took your time with it. So you have to be mindful about the powers of essential oils. They're very strong and some of them are not friendly for your skin and they can burn you like crazy but for example oregano oregano is a loose leaf herb that most people use for their spaghetti and pot, um, italian dishes however as an oil it's a very strong antibiotic and it will burn 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 now when we go and we speak about other brands and other companies, for example, I also use Aurora, and there's basil that they carry. 
there's an oregano that they carry. The difference between what I would do with these is this one has a supplementary supplemental fact on it. This one lets me know that it is safe for me to digest it and put it inside my body. Whereas this particular oil, it says that it's not. So when they particularly tell you that this is not for that, then I don't use it for that because this company knows what they did when they were making this product and they're going to give you their provisions and how to use it. So that's why I have a different variety of essential oils. There's also another company that I don't mind using. And that company is the Now Company. Now, Now and Aurora, those two companies you can find in your local stores like natural grocers, Whole Foods, um, some even Walgreens or CVS may carry it now because I've seen essential oils there, but I haven't looked at their brand selection to see what they are. Um, but these two companies are ones that I will purchase from if I'm not buying through doTERRA. And or in addition to doTERRA, as you see, I have both of the same oil, but I do different things with it. This one I use in all my products because I know that it is also food grade that makes it safe. Safe to be used, whether it's topical or internal, as well as for aromatherapy. This one I use only for my personal self, and I also only use it when I'm doing things like body washes or diffusing in the air. I will not put this one in my food or anything that I know I'm going to consume and eat. And that's because of the product that it is. This particular one, I'll only diffuse or maybe put in some of my body washes or soaps, but I don't use this in my products that I sell because this too has cautions on it. And when it has markings already put on the bottle, that just tells me that the safe case, the way to go is to do only diffuse what they say it's for. So we're gonna remove these out of the show. Now that you get the understanding, the difference between why if oil is oil essential is essential <clears throat> um some are fake some aren't pure some are cut with like let's say um hoba oil coconut oil carriers um olive oil a lot of different oils that you could use to carry your essential oils in um, and they all vary depending on what you're going to use them for, but using an oil, um, diffusing them, we use water. So there is a difference in if you're going to apply it to your body versus if you're going to put it in a diffuser. Now, doTERRA has many different diffusers and I pretty much have two of theirs. I have more than two, but two of their that I like to feature. This is the petal diffuser, and it's one of my favorite. It's been a long, around for a long time. It has this piece in it that can pop out, so it makes it for easy cleaning, and it does pop out so easily, see? And it makes for easy cleaning, so you could just sit this in your sink and wash it like you wash your dishes, and that helps keep the excess oil out. For example, I've had this for like four years, and it still looks pretty pretty almost like it's new the other part let me disconnect that is this is how the base looks and you have a feel line for where you have to put your water up to and then this diffuses it now a diffuser takes the oil that you choose diffuses it in the molecules of the water and then it disperses it in your air for you to use as aromatherapy. 
That is very, 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 very good for this time of year, and especially for the things that we got going on, that scary coronavirus that people are worried about. Some powerful essential oils that will kill the germ, which we've been seeing um, a couple videos surfacing, and they're telling you about lemon and lime. Now, for a virus or a germ that's airborne, you want to clean your air. Spraying bleach in your air when you could mess up your clothes, your furniture, and your carpeted floors, but you also can mess up your nasal pathways and your eyes. Um, it's not good for breathing and your respiratory system, so you do more hurt than help. However, if you do it naturally by diffusing essential oils in the air, example with the lemon or the lime, and you can even combine them. I love to do this particular blend and it will smell good, be refreshing, as well as kill the germs and bacteria that's floating around. So what you do is again, you take your diffuser, you pour your water in and you want to make sure that you get it up into that red line don't cross it and then you just add your drops of diffuse into your diffuser now i'm going to use i don't know if i want to use tea tree we're going to do lime right now All right, we'll use lemongrass. It's almost gone, but I was trying to think. Those bottles are all new, and there's no need to open up a new bottle. And I already have a lemon and a lime open, but I left them on the other side. And then you put your top back in. Now, when you're diffusing in this particular one and you're doing like an oil blend, you use about three drops of each. And then this also has a one hour, two hour, or four hour setting for the mist. You just turn it on. And I'm not sure if you can see that. Yep, you can. And it has a light feature. So if you're using it in the room and you'd like to use it as a night light, you can keep it on or you can turn it off. Let me show you the difference with the on and off of the lights. So it's not nighttime just yet but it is kind of dark and so in the house when i cut the lights off that is light off light on now doTERRA also has a another diffuser which is the bevel diffuser and i enjoy this one as well it's very sleek and it comes in another color too and it's small so it could fit in like, I mean, in the palm of my hand, and I'm a small person, so imagine what it could be, how it could fit, but in your bags and everything. And it has that same little thing that could snap out, and you don't fill it farther than the red line as well. Now, the beautiful part about this particular one, let's turn this one off. The reason being is I only brought one cord, the beautiful part about this particular one, and I couldn't do that. Oh me, oh my, I thought it interchanged, is that it goes up to 10 hours. If you bear with me, I'll show you the other cool trick about it. In the meantime, I guess, get a little virtual diffusion going on. Have some lemongrass in your life. And I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I am back. Oh, let me get that light on for you. So we... No, actually, I forgot we were going to show you this. So the beautiful part. Oh, let's see. Put those over there. About this particular one is it again goes up to 10 hours. And the light can change. 
So you have one that just stays the same. And then you have one that you can make the light change. And at night, this is so pretty and cool. It is really so pretty and cool. Especially when you, I love that one right there. Yes. And it holds a good amount of water. The 10 hour one slows the steam down. If you see the difference in that flow versus that flow. They do different things. Now that you see and have them going, let me explain a little bit about these oils. Lime, you can use a drop with your water, warm water, just the same as you can with your lemon. And they will give you the effects just as what you're hearing in these videos as far as building your immune system, fighting off different um, viruses and colds and things that they're saying is going around and you can also use when we bake like our brownies or cookies we've used different oils one of my most favorite are brownies with the orange essential oil oh it is so good it is so good then we have this particular one, frankincense. Frankincense, I'm going to sit him right there. Oh my goodness. If I was a tree, when they say hug a tree, this is the tree I'm looking for so I can hug him, kiss him, love him. I'd be Frankie's tree. Frankincense is the best oil I feel. It goes for everything. You're like, oh, my nose is itching or my nose is running. Here, have some frankincense. Oh, I'm not having a good day today and I just don't know what to do. Here, have some frankincense. Oh, I'm in pain and I just don't know what to do. Here, have some frankincense. Frankincense is one of my most favorite and well most used plant oils it's in my wise men blend it's in a lot of the things i do if i'm gonna give something to someone it's usually it's got frankincense in it um let's see what else we have a lot of people who are wanting to open up their spirituality and their third eye and get grounded and get into their chakras and centering and everything well, cedarwood, that's one that's good for that. You could rub that on your crown, on your forehead, and it'll help do some things for you. But it's also very soothing. Um, if you put some on and then you take a bath, when you take a bath, it opens up your sinuses. You can also have a drop of this in your bath tub. So while you're taking a bath, you're using the essential oils and that helps diffuse into your body. So there's phenomenal purposes and things that we can do. With a lot of the people that I help and work with, I suggest them to rub a lot of oils in different places on their zones, like with the re reflexology zones. So I want people to know and understand that you can have all of these oils and you can have the herbs too. Let me show you like, for example, I mean, I know pretty much everyone has cooked with basil. And if you could smell or taste this basil, you not know if we had you blindfolded, whether we were giving you the oil or the leaf because it tastes, well, actually it's a little bit more stronger, but you'd be impressed like, hmm, I, I just did not believe that that would be basil. And I've had people, oh, the peppermint is the killer. I mean, not killer like it's going to kill you. But peppermint, people are like, oh, I like peppermint oil. But when they've had doTERRA's peppermint oil, they're like, oh, shoot, that was some oil. Because doTERRA's brand is very pure. They don't claim to be organic, 
Um, but they do claim that, again, with their sourcing, that you can see that they go straight to the source and they go to the best place and quality that they can get it from. That's why I choose to use doTERRA. Um, there are other diffusers, like I said, I talk about just as there are other oils. I have a particular one that I like to use, and Nazim likes this one too. Let me slide that one on back. This is your NOW diffuser. It needs to use hot water. So I wanted to bring that one in just to show you the difference in them because these use cold water or room temperature, doesn't matter. But this one needs hot water. Now, for a lot of people who complain about like the difference between the cold humidifiers and the warm humidifiers, I'm one who always thinks that the warm humidifier for what you're doing and needing is where the where you should go. Yes, I do understand that warmth can harvest and hold bacteria, but then now that we're looking at things today, hmm, warm can also kill viruses, and so times are changed. And when times are changed, sometimes you got to do as time does, tells you to do, make that change. And I think now is a great time for a lot of people who haven't gotten involved into the natural and holistic way, don't know too much about essential oils. Now would be an opportunity time to join in, get some essential oils for yourself, but also familiarize yourself learn about them and what they can do because self-care is the best care and this definitely is something that we are now going to be resulting to this virus that's going on that is supposedly airborne it's in the air so as you go as you come it's going to be not even just outside but in your home too and while you're locked in the home and you're breathing in and letting out you want to make sure that you're breathing in quality air air that's going to generate and promote great health for you and your family and that's where doTERRA steps in we have a package and I'm not exactly sure of every single oil that's in it but I do know you get these size bottles and this diffuser so I know you get a little more Luca And I know you get, I don't know if you get wild orange. You get on guard. You get a peppermint. I know you get a lavender. You get a deep blue. I know you get a digest zen. I know you get a lavender and a frankincense. I believe you get a lemon and a lime. Oh, and you get a breathe. And I believe, honestly, there's about 12 different oils in there, but I'm not 100% sure. And the only reason why I'm not 100% sure, I'll also share this with you. I sell doTERRA if you'd like to join in. But I also use them mostly for my personal consumption and for my products. So I don't push doTERRA's groups and products and go out and hold parties like most doTERRA representatives do. I need to because right now is the time to step up and, and make a whole many, I mean, a lot of different ways of income coming through. However, that wasn't something when I signed up for doTERRA that I was like, I'm doing this for the money. Health, wellness 
is not for the money. Nutrition is not necessarily for the money. Yes, we got to eat, my kids and me. However, at the same time, so do you. And we all have to be healthy too. And I do this because this is something that I know is what works. It's a lifestyle that I have adapted to and I incorporate it. I use it with these also on my kids. Um, I know people have seen me at the basketball games and if a kid has got a pain or I can't breathe or something, I'm pulling it out. I'm pulling out my deep blue. I'm pulling out my breathe. But I also use these products. Uh-oh. This one is empty. But like I was saying to you, I make roller balls and I put them in there. And I have my own blends that I make as well. And doTERRA has blends too. For example, they've got a balance. They've got a, they have a serenity clary sage um the list goes on there are so many different oils that you can choose from and the beautiful part about it is i know about them and i'm willing and eager and excited to help and share with you all all about these oils so back to that promotion that i was telling you you can get i believe it's 12 plus a diffuser for $160. That also allows you for a whole year to get 25% off of the doTERRA's products that you choose to purchase later on. Like if you run out and you need some. Because as you see, let's compare the lemon with the lemon. These are the difference in the size bottles. So... You get this in the package, but when that runs out, you can replace it with this size here. And this bottle has about approximately about 250 drops in it, where I think this one would have a, a little less, um, a lot less. Um, I prefer buying these. Like when I finished with these, I just kept them because I reuse these for other things. Um, and I just constantly keep buying more as I need and more. And essential oils is the way to go. It really is. And the other part, the beautiful part is, if you do sign up this month, and I believe it's the next two months as well, my upline, she's giving a bottle of Citrus Bliss. Now, Citrus Bliss is... One of my favorite oils. You see it up here. It's what I just replaced new. And that I shouldn't have done. I like Citrus Bliss because it goes well with everything as far as if you want to make something smell good and you just dropped it in the diffuser and you're like, I don't like the way that smells. Add some Citrus Bliss. You can't go wrong. You're going to be in there like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I like this one because that stuff is good stuff. Um, and I think that kind of wraps things up. I wanted to say they even have black pepper. I'm trying to tell you it's a matter of whatever you need. There's an oil for that. So thank you for tuning in and watching. Peace, love, harmony, trust, and strength. I do hope that this was an informative message given to you about how to use essential oils. I believe I answered all the questions that have been coming. To However, if you have more, I'll be more than glad to answer them. Just hit me up. You can reach me at 785-422-6949. Or, and you can text that number as well. Or you can send me an email. It's winning, W-I-N-N-I-N-G, at persevere, P-U-R-C-E, V like Victor, E-R-E dot -E com. That's winning at persevere.com. 
And I'm going to wrap things up and say shalom. Have a wonderful evening. Blessings to you.